Annabelle Croft attended the second day of Wimbledon in her first public appearance since her husband, Mel Coleman, died from cancer. Annabelle Croft has been seen for the first time in public since the death of her husband earlier this year. The 56-year-old former tennis pro put on a brave face as she was spotted visiting day two of Wimbledon. Annabelle was left heartbroken in May when her husband Mel Coleman, 60, died of cancer just eight weeks after he was diagnosed with the disease at stage three. Dressed in a light pink jumpsuit which he paired with an olive green cardigan and padded navy bag, Annabelle smiled at onlookers as she entered the grounds. Wimbledon is somewhat of a second home to Annabelle who in 1984 won the Wimbledon and Australian Open girls tournaments. By 1985 she achieved a world ranking of 24 and in 1987, aged 21, Annabelle retired from professional tennis. Nevertheless, she didn't leave the sport completely and is a regular tennis pundit on BBC, Eurosport and Sky Sports. Annabelle announced her husband's shock death on May 26, releasing a statement that said, My beloved husband Mel passed away peacefully on Wednesday morning after a short battle with cancer. My family and I are completely heartbroken and ask for privacy at this very sad time. Following the announcement, a source told the Daily Mail, This has come as an extreme shock to everyone. The diagnosis was out of the blue and Mel did not seem unwell at the time. Sadly the cancer progressed brutally. And he passed earlier this week. Everyone is devastated and horrified. And Annabelle is absolutely shattered. Quote. The two of them have been together forever and were a wonderful couple. Annabelle married former professional yachtsman Mel in 1992. The couple met when Annabelle was sent on assignment for BBC Belfast to Guernsey to shoot a program on how to race a yacht. The couple lived in Coombe, near Wimbledon, and had three grown-up children together, Charlie, Amber and Lily.